Reality is just not good enough for Washington anymore. As the Ukraine conflict rages on and India considers buying discounted Russian oil, the White House is telling the world to decide. Are you with us or are you against us? Our message to, to any country continues to be that uh, obviously abide by the sanctions uh, and uh, support for uh, Ru the Russian leadership is support for um, an invasion. As for the U.S., it seems like no matter how many toes it steps on, Washington will say it's still one of the good guys. It doesn't matter that oil prices have risen 40 percent this year and India could seriously reduce its energy bills with discounted imports from Russia. The U.S. even threatened India with sanctions for its recent purchase of S-400 missile defense systems from Moscow. It's as if the White House thinks India, the world's largest importer of Russian weaponry, should just radically change its trade deals at the drop of a hat. India's national security will collapse without this relationship. There is really no fallback position for India. And to top it all off, Washington is offering nothing to replace what it's asking India to give up. Throughout the pandemic, Russia has sent 10 tons of medical aid to India. And what has the U.S. offered? Demands, threats, and smack talk.